Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Diamonds and Sparkles. My name is Lena and welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I hope you enjoy this video and just stay around to keep up with some more diamond painting content. I am so, so grateful of being part of this community and I'm just so, so, so happy. Today is especially exciting for me at least because I am in the last section of this particular diamond painting. This diamond painting is huge in size. It's the biggest one I have done. I have done other two that have similar dimensions, but those two have not been nearly as confetti heavy as this piece has been. Honestly, when I started it and I finished the first few sections, I just thought, I'm never going to finish this. This is going to be impossible for me. This is too big. This is just too, too much. And if you don't know which diamond painting I'm talking about, this is a flower delivery by Yume Art from Diamond Art Club. I started this, I actually have here the sticker sheet. I started it on February the 3rd and today is March 12th. Now that is um, like a month on the 3rd, 40 days, something like that. And guys, I, I can't believe it. I just cannot believe it. This piece is so beautiful, but honestly, it's a bit dreading. Now let's go start this up and finish the diamond painting while I talk to you guys. So I'm not using any special tools or anything. I'm just using, um, you know, tweezers and the tray from Diamond Art Club. This pen is the only, this pen and these two tips are the only like real upgrades that I have and they're all from Diamond Art Club. This is a single, um, single tip placer and the eight tip placer, which for now, I, I I I loved it. I'm gonna change the thingy here, the tack, because it's a bit like stringy. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, so I am actually filming this a little bit earlier than usual. Usually, um, I upload my whipping chats on Fridays and this whipping chat and I record them on um, Thursdays. But this whipping chat in particular, I am recording it on Tuesday because I wanted to finish this section um, or at least, you know, do, yeah, I wanted to finish because I wanted to finish this section on on a whipping chat and i don't know if i'm going to be finishing it but if i see that i run out of things to talk about or if i see that the video is just being too long what i'm gonna do is probably um you know the last little bit put it on a time lapse and then come back whenever i have my last my last drills to place basically but that's my plan for now this has so much okay so I am so excited. I don't know which one I'm going to be working after this one. I am between working on a budget canvas or I'm also um, considering a Harry Potter, a Harry Potter one from, from the Little Diamonds from Diamond Art Club. Oh, I'm moving the camera too much. I'm sorry. So let's begin with this. Oh my God, I cannot. I cannot. I, I am so excited. Like honestly, truly. I never thought this day was going to come. My One of my goals for March was just to make more progress. I, I honestly said, like, you know what? If I don't finish it, it's fine. I am in no rush of finishing this. You know, if I do, cool, great, I guess. But it was by no means, it was not, like, a specific goal. So, I guess let's begin. Um... Oh my god, I can't believe I'm, the, I'm in the last section. So, yes. Ooh. This is finally going to be my last whip and chat with this particular kid. I've done whip and chats, um, I think, five with this one. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, let me... I, in, in just a few days from the last time that I recorded this until now, there's been quite a lot of things that happened in my life. Usually my life is more... Oh, it's got, it got stuck. I think I need a release paper. Yes. 
So usually my life, it's kind of chill, to be honest. Not many things happen that um, people might consider interesting. But a lot of things happened this weekend. Um, so I said on my previous video that I wanted to do a booktube channel. And I was so, so, so excited that right after I um, finished you know, recording and editing and uploading my whip and chat on that same Thursday, I said, you know what, I'm going to start my, my channel. I'm going to start my video. And I had decided, or well, I decided that, um, I wanted to be very niched down on my diamond, on my diamond painting, on my booktube channel. And that I wanted to do challenges like my, my channel. I wanted it to be purely on challenges of different types of, cha of, of challenges. And the first challenge that I, I did because I actually did it, but unfortunately you're not going to be able to see any proof of that, <laughs> um, was on reading as many Harry Potter books as I could in a span of 24 hours. And I was having a great time. I started, I remember at 5.30 p.m. and the plan was to go all over to the next day, like no sleep at all, no nothing. And I knew I was going to struggle on the no sleeping part because um, I used, I was able to do it um, in my previous line of work my actual like career if you can say that i had a lot of nightly sleeps and work shifts and all of that but recently i had not i mean my health doesn't allow it if i ever try to pull an, an all-nighter um it can go really bad like the next day it's it's torture but i was willing to try it out and to see you know what if it works it works and if it doesn't then i'm gonna try to find another way to do it just so i don't feel like 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 really really bad the next day i even recorded myself um you know going to the grocery store to buy snacks i bought ice cream and coke and ramen noodles like all of the essentials for me to survive a night long thingy i bought candy i bought chocolate chip cookies and it was really really cool um on the next day early in the morning i even went to a starbucks to read there and make a little change in routine and also because it was like 8 a.m and i was falling asleep anywhere i sat down to read like i was on my bed of course that was not gonna work in the couch that was not gonna work i i just couldn't find a place where my eyes were not just closing down on me so I went to Starbucks and everything. And then on, um, I said, I'm not going to rush it. I'm going to, you know, try to record all of these and finish my challenge and take my time editing just to kind of um, have a grasp on how I want things to go. And once I know that, you know, other videos can go up um, with a timely matter, manner and I can kind of schedule them. Oh, this is kind of stained. I don't want you here, buddy. Bye-bye. Okay, your trash drill. And it was all, you know, working perfectly. Or that's what I thought, at least. And then, um, the next day was Friday. Was it Friday? Yeah, the next... Oh, no. The next day after that, I finished recording and everything. And the next day was Saturday. And on Saturday, I um, wanted to... To record oh to record you know just me doing diamond painting like the type of um asmr style type of thing and i wanted to do like uh very specific things like with the drills and for it to sound pretty i mean you know to sound asmr -y and all of that and i recorded it and oh backstory with this that's the point of the whole story when i decided we're going to backtrack a little when i decided that i wanted to do a booktube um and even before that ever since i started this channel i remember that my boyfriend had an iphone that he no longer used um the camera quality was okay like it was the same as the one that i use right now because i i film with my oh my god these are so crooked i record with my phone and he was like oh why don't you why don't you use it and i already have thought about that as well like 
he had it just over there um he he had not even wiped it out and i said like um can i use it and he was like yeah sure so i wiped it out and it had more memory storage than the phone that i'm using usually in this phone i only have around i don't know 30 to 40 gigs um left and because this is only a 128 gigs and um, that other iPhone that he no longer uses had 256. So for me, it was great because uh, that meant that I could record like on my diamond painting videos and on my booktube videos and storage was not going to be an issue in a long-term form. You know, I was, of course, eventually going to have to delete some stuff, but not imme immediately after, just as I have to do with um with with this phone in particular and i was really really excited and i recorded everything with that one that weekend i recorded my um my my ch my book challenge my reading channel my reading challenge my asmr video and even some um some videos that i use for shorts or reels that i enjoy doing a lot that are also kind of asmr type thing and um i remember that before starting to record i recorded um since a piece of the screen was cracked i first wanted to make sure that the phone worked fine like it was not gonna turn off on me or you know all of that and i remember that i recorded a little piece just a two minute video like uh as if i were doing a whip and chat but just a very short video i was it was like two and a half minutes and something like that and i listened to it like on the phone and it sounded really bad and i thought oh gosh i'm not gonna be able to use this phone because you know the sound i need the sound i need the sound for everything for my videos um if i don't have like good ish sound at least a decent sound it's not gonna work and then i thought okay so what if it's not the sound that doesn't work what if it's not like the file what if it's the device like the device has a cracked screen what if when that happened um something in the speakers went bad and the speakers are the ones that are not working maybe that isn't so i um airdropped that three long video file to my laptop I opened it and it sounded, whoo, whoops, and it sounded perfect. So I said, okay, so maybe what doesn't work is actually the, um, the, I forgot the word now. What's the word in English for bocina? The speaker. Yes, the speakers. And for that um, short period of time, at least, that seemed to be the thing, that the speakers weren't the ones that were not working properly. And so having that in mind, I proceeded to record everything that I told you. My booktube um, challenge, my ASMR video, some shorts, I mean, some short videos that I want to use as shorts and everything. And on Sunday morning, I wanted to use like a bit of my morning to at least um, put order to the files, like to classify them in their in their folders. So later that day, I could edit them because I, um, I actually I wanted to edit the ASMR one right then and there because I wanted it to be ready before 6 p.m. That that was a time where I uh, uploaded the first ASMR type video the previous week. And I said, okay, um, this is going to have a schedule of Sundays, 6 p.m. And I said, I'm going to be putting all of the files to my computer and I'm going to um, edit and upload this one to have it scheduled because I had a sort of, um, oh, this is, these are all crooked, why? A bachelorette party for my cousin's fiance. And I had to go. It, it was like a family thing where I had to go. And I really didn't know um until what time it was going to go it was a formal event and it started before noon it started at 11 um, 11 30 but i didn't know if it was going to be like a day-long thing because you know i'm latina and those type of things you never know how they're gonna <laughs> come out um and i wanted to leave that already scheduled oh so i oops so i didn't have to worry about that and i put all the files on my computer i um imported 
I import all of them into iMovies. It's just like the basic app that I use in my computer to edit my videos. And I put the intro, the outro, and then I'm just going to be cutting certain parts for it to be um, for it to be better, I guess. I don't know. I just I just went ahead and started to try to edit some stuff in and some stuff out. And the audio was just the audio was just I don't even want to say it because it was horrible. The audio was horrible. And what I think that happened is that I didn't have a long enough sample of that recording, of that first recording when I thought it was going to work out. And yeah, my sample was not large enough for me to decide and for it to be accurate. And I remember just saying, you know what? I think this is going to be the second week where this video I wanted it to go up and it's going to be the first time it's not going to go up because something unexpected happened. So it's fine. And then I remembered that I had all of my files of my challenge and I went to them, I listened to them and yeah, that's not going to work. And so I just spent the previous 24 hours reading for 24 hours. I read the first four Harry Potter books, like in their entirety. I read book one through four, 100%. And I read the first chapter and a half of the fifth book. And yeah, I mean, I did the challenge. So it's a, it's, I could, I did something that I, I, I already read all the Harry Potter books once every a few years, but I wanted it to be like my first challenge, you know, and it wasn't. And I was so, so, so disappointed in that. And I was just like one of those times where just like, you know what, Ugh, maybe this is a sign. So that got me really discouraged to keep doing um that. Um, I'm still not discouraged like at a hundred percent, but yeah, it didn't, it didn't leave me with, um, the same motivation that I had the previous days about the challenge. So at the end, that was my big fail of the week. I was still able to upload an ASMR one, but that was one that I recorded later. Um, the event went actually shorter than I thought it was going to go. It only went from 11.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. Like, officially to 2.30, but since I am family and stuff, all the family was just hanging around and all. And um, I got home and I said, you know what? It's like 3.20, 3.30. I can just record like um, that one again. And it needs pretty much no editing at all. Like not really that much and i did it i just recorded it with my oh with my phone on the regular way that i do it and and there it goes <laughs> i could upload that video but not my my entire book challenge that makes me so sad it was going to be so fun i mean i i tried to make it interesting i tried to make it fun and now I need to think of another I mean I already have like a list of ideas but I wanted that one to be my first one you know and I don't want to be reading again the first four books in another 24 hour span of time like a week after I read them like I'd like to reread my favorites but not in a week time you know so I want my first video to be of books that I love and that are very meaningful for me. Um, but I'm going to think about it. I I will try to maybe um, record something this weekend for for my potential booktube channel. And I already created it. I mean, it was a... a, a it was a channel that already existed, but it had some videos in it. I just deleted all the videos that it had previously. And that's what I'm going to try to do. We'll see. We'll see how everything goes. But, yeah. Oh, 
man, that, that really sucked. I like, I know it might be like a lot of extra tack in my pen, but I like it. I don't know why. I prefer to just do like these thingies than to not have enough and to have to press real hard. I don't know. We all work in a different way, I guess. So, another thing. Oh, um, I watched, uh, actually, was it the same Sunday or was it the day after? I don't remember anymore. I just remember that on the weekend, uh, Lisette, she completed finally her, her like no buy D stash um, challenge where she bought no more diamond paintings until she finished the nearly 50 that she had. And she's so funny. I like her so, so much. I just, I think like, I think that she's kind of, I don't know how to say it, but she's, I feel that she's so like young and a simple person, like no, um, no facade or anything like that. I, I see that she's so transparent. I don't know how to explain it. I just, she's one of those people that I, you know, watch one of, or two um, of her videos and I'm just like, yeah, I like you. I like you a lot. <laughs> I'm going to keep watching. So I watch her live, not during the live because I don't know, I guess I wasn't home or something. We did something else that I, I don't remember. Like it was just a few days ago and my mind is blank, but you know, um, brain fog. But I watch her video and I, I'm just so excited to see all the diamond paintings that she gets. Um, I really like her approach to it. That I mean, her new approach where she said, you know what, I know that I can finish a certain amount of diamond paintings um, in a certain period of time for what she has done previously, like her challenge and all of that. And that she is uh, making a different decision regarding buying diamond paintings because, you know, her stash was large for me. Any stash over 15 is large, but that's personal preference because I cannot deal with a large stash. But I see people that are, have like, honestly, oh, I moved the camera too much. I'm sorry. That have honestly, I, I don't know how they deal with it. And it's no judgment. I swear it's no judgment. I just imagine myself having so many unfinished projects and my brain just explodes. My anxiety could never, to be honest. So props to you. I think that it's like, um, it's like having a library, like people who collect books. Like I also collect books, but not in a large amount. I collect books little by little. My collection is not like that, that big. I must have like, well, for me, it's not big because I would like to have a bigger collection. Mom, I have what, around maybe 500 books probably, but I don't have too many that are on red at one same time because again, my insight, my anxiety cannot deal with that. But I know that there are people who have hundreds and hundreds of on red books. And their take on that is, you know, that they want to see it as having a library to maybe browse to the books that they have not read and find one and say, oh, this sounds interesting. I'm going to read it. And, you know, if, if it works for them, amazing. Props to you. I could never. So I guess that's how people see um, diamond painting. Again, uh, also, and I know that when you have a hobby, doing the actual hobby and collecting all the things... Oh, I put the drills in the wrong place. Oh my God, no. I always do that. I don't know if you can see that, but at least it's only like four. So one. Good thing is the last section, but I do want to take them out because I started recently saving my leftover over drills for a project I want to do. But yeah, good thing it was only four drills that went stray in the other one. I mean, they don't went. I put them there. Whoopsie. Um, I lost my train of thought. Ooh, what a new concept for me. <laughs> of course it's not. I always, my train of thought is always all over the place. So that's what I was trying to say regarding, you know, that, that it's different. Yeah, I remember now. <laughs> it's different. Um, one thing is the hobby and other hobby itself is acquiring all of the things of that hobby that are related to that hobby, you know, like people having tons and tons of trays and pens and 
all that and good for you but i could never <laughs> i could never do that um for now i do want to try certain um more than anything certain potties and certain uh trays not so much pens i don't know why i'm not that interested in pens but i'm very interested on trying out some potty especially one the alien potty that i see that people really love and i saw the other day the price point and the amount that it has and people saying that their potty lasts for the entire diamond painting that they don't have to change it once so if the potty works for for forever <laughs> pretty much you don't you wouldn't need to to get a new potty so i'm really really interested in that though i am currently using a tech that i bought here in my country just um in a you know it was not even a craft store it was like a i think it was an office depot or office max office office something is that in the u.s i don't know but you know school supplies uh, and it was around what i mean if i convert it it was about to u.s currency um let me convert it officially because i'm that person to usd yeah like two dollars and 67 cents so super inexpensive but i would like to try um one that is scented or one that has pretty colors um all of that and i really really want to i hope that i can do that soon because i want to just basically try new things oh shoot I have to go pee. Let me finish this color before I have to go pee. Why am I putting so many crooked things? I these are so crooked. Good thing I'm not like a perfectionist. At least not with this thing. Okay, I'm back. Hello. <laughs> um, so that has been so far, you know, my week. Uh it might seem uneventful and it probably was for most people but for me it was like filled with things happening everywhere and where's my color here it is and so moving on um after my failed attempt at trying to start my booktube channel at least my attempt of last week we'll see if this week i attempt to do it again and if i succeed um let me know if you if you would like to know when i um already i mean when i have my first booktube video up if you would want to know maybe you want to see it and actually now that i think about it um you 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 would be able to see my face over there because i'm not doing it like faceless like i i do it here because i think for diamond painting it makes sense that it's faceless because many times what you want to see are the diamond paintings and this stuff related to it that it's very detailed and small like you know the diamond paintings themselves but just you know if if, if you get to this point and if you would like to see it, um, let me know. And I I will make sure to let you guys know about it. Absolutely. If that's what you want, of course. But yeah, as I said, after my failed attempt at starting a booktube channel, I proceeded to just not read. I mean, not that much because even if I say that I am not reading. When I, when I say that I am not reading is because I am only reading like an hour that day i usually read for a long time every day um even if it's only through an audiobook i always have a book going i'm like why did i pour so many drills here like look at that there's so many i i tend to exaggerate a little bit that's why i want a bigger tray i really want a bigger tray but hopefully soon hopefully soon yeah where was i again i lost my train of thought again Oh yeah, right. So I um, decided that I didn't want to read as much. And also my booktube 
my booktube my youtube to watch later list diminished to zero because every time that i see a video that i want to watch i put it in my watch later list and then i watch through that list all throughout the day and i like to have that on a healthy level for me it's a healthy level of about 50 ish videos to watch and then uh, i just see that for days to come until i run out of it my boyfriend says uh, when the internet is done like there's no more internet because he consumed everything that he that he's interested in for him is there's no internet anything anymore i finished it <laughs> so i kind of make the same joke about it but i wanted i didn't want to see anything book related or hobby related i just uh and, and i didn't have any true crime videos to to watch at that time and i wanted to maybe what I like to do is stop watching YouTube for a few days and to let that list grow again to at least 30, 40 book, books, 30, 40 videos, and then I binge watch them, all, all of them. So I watched um, Netflix. Usually Netflix, I watch either K-dramas. I only, the thing about the K-dramas is that not all of them catch my eye and the ones that catch my eye have to have the um the translation in in spanish because even though i prefer by a hundred percent to watch k-dramas in their original language which is korean and read to the subtitles i don't usually all the time that I'm consuming some type of content, I am doing something else, such as diamond painting most of the times. And with diamond painting, you have to have your eyes in your diamond painting because uh, other way you would not be able to diamond paint, basically. And for some reason, for my ears, it's less cringy to listen to the um to the how do you say that it's not a translation it's um i just did i just say the word and forgot about it dubbed yes i prefer to, to watch it dubbed in spanish is less cringy for me i don't know why than uh, the 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 dubbing in english so if they are not dubbed in spanish it's like oh I think I'm gonna have to save that for later. That's what I did when I watched Marry My Husband on Amazon Prime. It didn't, it only had subtitles in other languages. It didn't have translations like dubbing in other languages. So that one I watched it um, at night or when I was not doing anything else but wanting to watch something, which is rare. And it took me quite a long to watch it because of that, but it's fine for me. But yeah, I watched on Netflix three documentaries. Well, not three. I Two and a half, I would say. The first one... Oh, I forgot the name of it. Should I look it up? If you want to look it up, maybe... If, if you want to watch it, maybe you want to... Yeah. I don't, and I don't know if that's on the US. I guess it would be because it's in the US when all of this happens. But... It's basically a documentary about, um, let me see if it has. My dad told me he was on his way. Oh, I don't want the sound. I don't know the original name in English, but if I translate it directly, it would be the program. It's about these sort of boarding schools where they take quote-unquote, um, problem teen teenagers that are not behaving or that their parents have have are having issues with them. But in the underground, like in closed doors, they are being abused um, physically, psychologically, sometimes even sexually. And it's the documentary is made by actually one, one, one woman that went to those type of boarding schools. She was there for... I guess it was, I think it was 15 months, like oh, um, three months over a year. And she goes back to the school that is now like abandoned with other people who also went 
to that boarding school and they kind of like remember and recapitulate is that a word i don't know they recapitulate all of the things that were done to them um there's also people that went to other boarding schools but with a similar vibe and they all get to this conclusion that these wow look at that please take a look at the screen and see how crooked i place that jesus <laughs> what am i doing where's oh my god what am i doing um but yeah uh they kind of tell you they go through their experience and how for many of them that experience was even worse than the so alleged trouble that they were making at home uh, they were mentally abused and they were just brainwashed, basically. And not only them, but especially the parents, because they were not allowed out, like, in fresh air. They were, were not allowed to speak to one another. They were not allowed to um, do anything, basically. They had, like, phone calls to their houses, to their homes. I think it was once a week, but they had this set of instructions of things they could and could not say. And they even have had someone next to them monitoring everything they were saying. And whenever they uh, like went through a series of steps that made them kind of deserving of going home, you know, just to do just to visit, they were made sign this sort of document where they compromised that they were not going to mention wanting to go home. They were not going to be saying anything regarding anything at all. And the parents, actually, one of the instructions that were told to them sometimes was that, you know what, if they are telling you to that they want to go back home or whatever, they're all trying to manipulate. They're trying to manipulate just... Um, uh yeah basically ignore that because they're trying to manipulate and gosh it was horrible it was really really bad to imagine that whole situation and they also go to interview some of the people the staff that was part of that place and they are all you know they don't really acknowledge their part in it they basically say oh it was just my job or i didn't partake in this or that or they simply didn't want to talk about it because I guess I assume that um, having that coming back to bite them in the butt might be scary because it, you know, those things are stuff that can carry legal, legal repercussions for them. That's what I imagine. But yeah, it was really interesting to watch. And I also watched one that, again, I don't know if it's in the US, but it is in my country, it's in Spanish. And it's about, you know, in Spain, there is these celebrations uh, for a saint. And they're very popular because they're big, big events, like people go out and party in the streets and um, everybody dresses in a very specific, like they all in white with red accents on their clothes. It's very, very specific. And it's a documentary about kind of like the Me Too movement in America, but in Spain, how it started. Uh, this girl who was essayed by five guys and she was that same night she was found by officials and she told them her story and they immediately started to investigate and how people starting basically to question her and say, but yeah, we have to look at how this person is or her background and blah, 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 you know, just victim shaming pretty much. And how the, the community in Spain just joined forces to make this girl see, you know, we believe you, we're with you. This is not going to go um, without justice. And that whole story and, oh God, I really, really, Touch, it really touched me because in my country, things are very harsh and you don't have to be essayed to be uh, conscious of these things. To live in a place where you are basically an object, 
you're objectified for everything, for your body, for everything. And I said, I've never been essayed, but I've been touched um, in public places. In, you know, very not comfortable ways. And I have tried to confront the person and they just do like nothing is happening. I've tried to... Yeah, the last time that someone in the street called, like, how do you say that in English, had called me, I was wearing my work uniform. And I used to work in healthcare. So I was wearing, like, scrubs, like, literal scrubs that were three sizes too big for me. At the moment, I was an M, and the scrub size that I was wearing was an extra large. And it was broad daylight. It was like 3 p.m. or something like that. Or not even that. And that is so disturbing. Because um, even though being dressed in a certain way is no excuse for that behavior from other people. You say, well, at least I would uh, not understand. But, oh, gosh. Yeah. So I, <laughs> I was crying. Um, you know seeing people say that like i i was not a saint but i've dealt with this this and that and it was just heavy it was a heavy heavy topic it was a very heavy topic to watch but i watched it and i am grateful that i did and it really 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 touched me it was hard to watch but in english um I don't know, the, 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 the name in Spanish was La Manada, which means kind of like um, like the pack or the herd. No, not the herd. I think it would be more like the pack, as of a pack of um, wolves, a pack of lions. I don't, or no, the lions is not called a pack. Um, but yeah, kind of like that was, because that was the name that these individuals gave to themselves in a chat group basically because they had a chat group where they said all of the things that they were going to do um they basically did that on a regular basis and the the defense of all these people that did this to this girl was basically she wanted it she said she could she she uh, kind of uh, encouraged us. Oh, gosh, it was disgusting to hear that. My, I was just, I, I was getting a little bit angry. But yeah, it was really, I think that's um, the sort of thing that I feel is very important to watch, regardless of your gender, if you're men, woman, non-binary, anything, because. Those things are real. And whatever gender you are, you can either fall victim or you can be the one doing this conduct without knowing they're wrong because so much of it falls under how each and every person was raised. And if a person is not fortunate enough to grow in a healthy environment, and what they see at home is maybe a parent, regardless if it's a woman or a woman or a man, a parent having these sort of thoughts and conducts around the people who they supposedly love, like their partners, many times is learned behavior. So I think it's very important for everyone to see these type of, of documentaries and of um, of shows, really. I think they teach so so much at the end of the day <sighs> that was such a heavy topic just to think about <laughs> my shoulders are so tense right now but yeah um i have not been reading more harry potter i intend to finish the entire harry potter books but i left just at the middle of of um chapter two in in the order of the phoenix I am still reading two of my audiobooks. 
no one audiobook and on the one that is of the teenage fbi special agent type of thing and the thing about it is i that that one i only read it whenever i cannot fall asleep and i would read for like 30 minutes and then try to sleep and that doesn't happen that often but i think i'm gonna be able to finish it this week um and i'm enjoying it really it's not that it's boring it's just that i read it at very specific times gosh what did i do so i intend to finish that soonish soonish probably yeah definitely this week I, I will try to finish it this week what else have i been watching or what else have i been doing nothing really oh gosh nothing really regarding music i don't listen to much music um i'm not i used to be more a music person but not anymore whenever i listen to something is an audiobook <laughs> Or I just have an, a true crime episode um, in the background. That's what I listen to most of the time. And I listen to it doing housework or anything at all, to be honest. Oh, I missed a piece there. I have only four colors left in this. So I'm not entirely sure on how long this whip and chat has been so far, but I don't have things to talk about anymore. So what I'm going to do is that uh, for the rest, for the entirety of this place, that is just the last spots of, of this particular diamond painting, I'm going to do a time lapse. And just before the time lapse, yeah, of, of how I complete it. And just before I finish it, I'm going to come back to finish it with you. The fourth to last color. I'm, I'm, I, I only have left this one that is like the squiggly line with the one on the bottom. And also, where is, I call it the sausage. It doesn't even look like a sausage, but that's what comes to my mind every time I watch, I see this symbol. And the three and the four, which are ABs. So I'm gonna be finishing with these ABs. Only these four colors left. Oh, I'm so, so happy, I'm so thrilled. So cue to the time-lapse. Okay, I am so excited. I am finally finishing this piece and I cannot believe it. And then usually what I, what I do with this last section where I have only ABs, I usually leave the ABs at the end because with the putty that I use, like the tag that I use, it's like using putty, like it gets stuck on the surface. But I found that if I only put like one, if I only put one and into this checkerboard method, it doesn't get stuck. I don't know why, but it works for me. So that's what I do. I put the checkerboard method um, on the ABs and then just pluck one by one. And it is really satisfying. Like, listen to this. Oh yeah, that's so satisfying. So let me put the last drills this was so confetti heavy i i honestly truly thought it was gonna take me ages and i didn't push myself with this one actually i gave myself space there was a point in the mid of uh, february i think where i didn't work on this piece at all i did take like 40 days to finish it but it was not uh, 40 days that i worked on it i worked less days than 40 
in total. If I had worked continuously, I know it would have taken me less time than that. Um, and actually, I might do like a, um, like if I had worked every single day, when would I had finished it? But, you know, just to be curious. And I, I'm actually going to zoom it. Can you watch? Can you see it? Or is it? Oh, no, you can't. Actually, you can't. Yeah, I don't place them perfectly, but... I'm gonna put last reel. It's really exciting to finish an entire piece. <gasps> Yay! I'm done! I am done. Oh, I feel a bump here. I'm gonna fix it later. I usually, um, there we go. I usually, every time I finish a section, I just pass a flat thing that rolls. I cannot wait to see it like all laid out finished. Um, I'm gonna try to take my a picture of myself with the entire thing, but of course I'm going to post it on Instagram and stuff. And I'm going to be doing my post review probably today after I finish recording this, so it can go up as soon as possible. But thank you all so much for tuning in, for watching this video, and this is special women chat where we finished a kit. Yay! A very big one indeed. So Again, thank you so much for watching. If this was the first time that you came here, please um, let me know down in the comments and subscribe if you would like to see more diamond painting content. Have a great day, have a great week, and a, and a great weekend, and keep diamond painting. Bye-bye.